Former Wallabies captain George Gregan is an Australian sporting legend. What he's less known for is his business acumen. Alongside wife Erica, the young families established the Gregan Group as one of Australia's leading hospitality businesses. KBB's Alex Brophy caught up with the couple to find out how they've done it. So, Erica, Koshi makes no bones about it. You're the brains of this operation. Was it always your plan to sort of grow a business like this? Not this many. Um, I certainly wanted to be in business um, for myself and I started that in Melbourne. And I think we were looking for a niche, something in the market that was uh, a little bit different. And in those days, espresso bars were different. Now they're, they're everywhere, but in those days, they really weren't. Um, and I was looking for a business that I could work all week and on the weekends, bring up a family and travel to wherever he was with rugby. So that, that corporate espresso bar was perfect for that. And how did you identify that first place to open up? It was through friends of ours. Again, a bit of a rugby connection. They owned the building and they had a, a lobby space and uh, they, they were really open to the idea and that was, the, I guess, the, the start of uh, our, our, our business. And George, now, you could have easily gone on the corporate gravy chain like a lot of other sports people into a bank, into a corporate. Why start your own business? Well, it sort of started as I was playing, really, and Erica was driving it, like, and she is the MD of the business, as it is today, and, and obviously the founder. And that's been something which um, I've, I've enjoyed sort of supporting and being involved with to a very small level. And Erica, what did you do to sort of leverage uh, George's brand and publicity through his career? I think in the beginning when we first set up a shop and uh, he was injured at the time and his face used to be on the cup. And so, you know, it would have got a little bit of publicity just for the fact he was doing something on the side. But slowly the GGs have stood for themselves and his face is gone and I think it's a brand itself now. And uh, Sydney know us very well, the corporate market know us very well. And I think that, you know, more and more his image and likeness, etc., has, has been phased out of the company. George, what are the skills you've taken from your rugby career into business? It's a good question. I think probably the, the key skill would be communication. You need to be able to communicate to your team and obviously lead by example, so to speak. You know, your actions are, are more, more powerful than words. And, and I think also the, the attitude that, you know, when times are tough, you know, you, you roll your sleeves up and you find a solution. I think that's really important. What have been your biggest business challenges along the way? Yeah, I think probably the biggest challenge for us has been growing. There's a period where we went from maybe being three or four stores, then all of a sudden we went beyond five, and then the magic number was 10, and then it's got to 20, and it's, so it's growing. So we've, we've, we're just reinvesting all our resources back into the growth. So that's challenging, uh, but it's also an exciting time as well. Are there specific processes you've put in place to ensure that that's been a, a smooth transition through the growth? There's no such thing, you know. <laughs> in all reality, I mean, we, all the planning comes in and it's a case of having a great team around us. We work very, very closely with our senior team and our we've got a team that come in and open stores as well. Um, and I think the, the best you can do is to plan, but realistically, it's just hard work. And your tips for small businesses looking to grow their operation? There's a lot in the planning and a lot in uh, the business analogy. I think that if people go into a cafe thinking it's this romantic thing to do, but in reality it's a lot of hard work and you really have to have the balance sheet in the green. Terrific story guys, thanks a lot for your time. Thank Pleasure.